At the Utah Cannabis Program, we want all of the industrial hemp cultivators in Utah to be successful. In order to certify the material as industrial hemp, the crop must be sampled and the lab results must be below the required 0.3% total THC compositions. All samples that come back with THC levels over 0.3% will need to be rendered useless by the licensee and verified by the Utah Cannabis Program. Here are the recommendations that we give to ensure all growers have the best chance to certify their crops as industrial hemp. Schedule a sample inspection 35 days before harvest. Complete the harvest report application found on the Cannabis Information Page website. Crops may be sampled 30 days before harvest, which gives the most opportunity for the plants to test within the allowable THC limit. Please be prompt and flexible so inspectors may create an efficient schedule within a geographic area. All documents, receipts, invoices, and reports should be prepared and available for auditing. As the inspector arrives, they will review the uh, reports that the cultivator has on file. The best way that we have done this is through writing out on a sampling tag. The sampling tag will collect information for the grower's license number, email, the strain that's being grown, how many plants are in the container or in the lot, and then the number that's sampled. As inspectors take samples, we'll take 10 cuttings off of 10 plants in the, in the field. In order to preserve the integrity of the sample, we sample using gloves, and we'll also clean our sampling equipment um, with a disinfectant before every field. We clean the sampling tool until there's no more residue or resin on the blade. So as we're taking the, the, the 10 samples, uh, we'll identify 10 different plants throughout your lot, and I'm gonna look for plants that are about the middle range. I'm not looking for the big plants that have the biggest bud. I'm not looking for the smallest plants like this one. Um, looking for plants like this and this. And so when we pace through the field, we'll randomly select different plants and we'll take the samples from them. The samples will be taken into the lab within 48 hours of the sampling process. Test results will be available seven business days after sampling. Products are not allowed to be moved off-site until the test results of the sample have been completed. If the samples come back with THC levels over 0.3%, those lots will then need to be rendered useless. Acceptable disposal methods include composting, adding bleach to harvest plant material, and responsible burning. Once all of the material has been harvested and is ready for processing, a transportation permit will be required. Transportation permits allow for the cannabis program to know where the plant material is going to. A post-production report must be filed within 30 days of harvest. This report is collected as an overview of information for the program. The information should include amount of hemp material sold, COA if conducted by a third party, water application rates, and information on any pest infestation that occurred. We hope to see every industrial hemp cultivator successful in this year's operation and growing. If any questions come up, please reach out to our office and we'll be happy to help you navigate this process.